Buddy, it's Ken and Baby Spraps. We're here to give you a stock market update for Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. I have a YouTube channel. Yes, he does have a YouTube channel, but his YouTube channel may be out of business just like all the other companies today. What a terrible it's day. It's called Baby Spraps. Yeah, yeah. Well, go subscribe. It's a rough day for the market. Um, I've done some work on this file in Google Sheets that brings in real-time stock data and you can track currently what's going on. I took a look at the highest price stocks. Here we have a list of top 10 highest price stocks. Amazon's on here. They're down, you know, it's the middle of the day here on Tuesday, but they're down two, almost 3%. Um, they still have an enormously high price stock, but everybody's kind of taking a little That's hit today. That's not Amazon. Oh, that is Amazon. That's Amazon. That's their ticker symbol right there. Every, every company has a, one to four or five letter tick, ticker symbol basically which identifies them well why couldn't they just put an e at tesla well they have t t s l a so if they put an e there it just spells the whole company well all the all they had to do was put an e there i think it's only supposed to be four letters long most of the time unless there's a different type of stock it gets complicated you have to sign up and, and request what your ticker symbol is going to be. It's not an easy process. I'm sure they, mm. Tesla's good enough. But speaking of Tesla, Tesla's one that's down huge today for Tesla standards, minus 7%, uh, under $700 a share. This is a stock, Tesla. Uh, this is a company of the future. There's no holding them down. And that stock's going to be $1,000 a share this time next year. They're eventually going to get through this. Uh, they are having violent swings uh, because the market, everything's just super volatile right now. And also what's happening is the markets are getting a little dysfunctional right about now. The oil market is all yeah. over the place. There's too much oil. People, people are still producing oil and there's no place to put it, which is why the cost of oil and oil futures were running in the negative for the last day or two. You, it, these things are affecting all broad areas of the market, which is why, in general, the market's down like five or 600 points already today. There are winners to be found, though. Um, the economy is changing. The, the Rona is changing everything. Colin. Yeah, that too. It's changing everything in the near term and potentially even the, the longer term uh, as we all deal with how we are going to communicate and interact in society without um, communicating as closely as we did before, where breathing in someone else's air potentially has permanent health consequences. So we have vaccine antibody treatment, which is several months away, according to all reports, you're going to see this kind of just drastic volatility in all different directions. So keep an eye on things like Tesla. People are pulling money out of some of these equities because they have to cover different investments that they've had. All these big hedge funds that are trying to balance themselves out in different areas of the market never really accounted for full stop, global economic shutdown. How's that going to impact all the different levers of the economy? It gets complicated and people are going to start running out of money. People are not going to be able to pay their mortgages. The forbearance situation, what the government is offering to have people help cover their rent or their mortgage it's not really materializing and helping those that are desperately in need. So we're going to have a very destabilizing situation over the next few months. The riots you're going to see in the streets or the protests are not going to stop. People can't really handle what's going on right now. So you're going to see that volatility in the market. That's why I'm concerned about the next few weeks, even into later May, as we learn to accept the new situation, learn to accept the new customs and try to open up. But the virus is going to spread more. Everybody I know who hasn't had experience with the virus thinks that we should, you know, kind of wants to get out and get back to normal, thinks things are going to be fine. People that have had the virus and healthcare workers that have deal with treating people with the virus all say the opposite, that this is something that you have to respect. And just because you haven't seen it affect your neighborhood, you really don't know how it's going to feel until it does roll through your neighborhood. So that's what's happening over the next few months. That's what's being built into the price. That's what's causing the problem. There's a lot of crazy things going on today. If you look at stocks that are the biggest winners, uh, what you're actually seeing is, is a good deal of energy stocks. 
I can show you how we bring this all into the main file now. Grab like the top 10 and, and move them from this master list all the way over to one that expands and gives you de detail about uh, all the different um, actions and, and shares and everything related to the stocks. It's kind of slow when I'm recording, so it takes me a little while. And I think Baby Scraps is getting restless over here. I'll post some pictures uh, video. below this video, yes, and he's going to make a video too. Point is, be very, very careful. Tread lightly in the market right now. I would allow some of these stocks to get off their highs, as you can see in this chart here. Amazon has been running great. They're going to continue to run well in the long term, but there are certainly going to be people who need to not necessarily take some profits, but liquidate a little bit as other areas in which they are invested in are, let's say, struggling. So the next few weeks into months, we've got too much uncertainty here. Be very careful. Look for industries like telemedicine or industries that are adopting to the new world. Look for food establishments that have drive throughs and that can handle and are, are taking to the new way of online ordering. Dunkin' Donuts has more drive throughs than Starbucks. Oh, 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 Let's see. I mean, we could see how Starbucks is doing. You did? Very nice. SBUX is at Starbucks? Oh, man. Yep. Starbucks down 4%, 72. Um, one thing you can do is you can just put it right here, SBUX. And you can see things are going to change automatically. Yeah, their chart's taking a hit. I, I, I'm not... I'm not solid long on Starbucks right now because until we fix up this situation, a lot of their locations are going to remain closed. And I love getting coffee every day. It's been the weirdest thing. You got to wait. Hey, relax. You got to wait in a drive-through for 10 to 20 minutes to get a cup of coffee nowadays if you don't make it at home. So what's going to happen? You're going to go out and you're going to buy and you're going to ground your own coffee at home and buy paper cups. And it's just like a shift in how we spend that money. They're getting shelled lately. And it's not surprising to me that that is happening. So they're not a cheap stock in my book right now, even though they've got that $84 billion market share. Um, not, not healthy right now. Google's still getting cheap. Look at that. I am long on Google. Google taking a hit today. But if you can catch Google, I've got some target prices listed here. So I'm going to start um, showing uh, or discussing these stocks in depth what the target prices are and how far away we are from them so we can be tracking these every day because I don't think there's going to be any sports going on for several months so uh, we'll be able to track the market every day but I have certain target prices I have a target price of a thousand for Google that means that if it drops down to a thousand absolutely buy that, that's a great so we're 122 percent over my fantastic target buy price Anything with the lowest percentage here would be the closest that we are to a target buy price. So for Microsoft, I'm saying if that gets down to 150, jump on it. It's at 168. It's down today like everything else that's down because we are starting to experience serious uncertainty and fear in the marketplace, which will be lasting for a while. Even though um, the government is going to try to push some more small business stimulus, it's not going to be enough because the government just can't keep printing money and supplying everyone forever. That's going to lead to inflation, and both parties won't be able to agree on that forever. So um, we're, we're looking for a very interesting and uncertain times. So that's where we are for now. You want to say anything, Baby Sprouts? Subscribe to my channel. We're racing to 1,000 subscribers. We are racing to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> And I have a big lead on him, but I have a feeling I'm going to lose that race. So be very careful. Look for industries that are going to survive and flourish in a less peer-to-peer -peer physical society as we seem to be migrating to. I did. So we're out for now. Happy trading.